Alright, so, you know, la last time I made a, uh, I made the video about, uh, the Shady Hook Elementary School shooting, uh, I realized that it probably wasn't the best thing to be talking about that while also, um, you know, having a game where I'm shooting, so I decided to play, uh, <laughs> upload it with a little bit of Madden, um, uh, just a quick thing, uh, this is a game that me and Chris had together, uh, I was playing defense, he was playing offense, so, uh, yeah, so, uh, I said I was gonna make another video, so, I'm, I'm about to, um, <clears throat> the, 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 with, with the whole issue of what happened at the school shooting, you know, it, it, it was annoying, but, like, or not annoying, but I mean, like, it, Oh, God, I really shouldn't have said that. What I'm trying to say is uh, you guys will understand in a little bit. Um, so I was trying to talk to one of my friends about how I r truly find it incredibly annoying when people act like they care about something. And, you know, in reality, they, they, they don't. They, they don't care. And, you know, they, they just kind of do whatever is they hop on a bandwagon and you know it's funny because that's what happened when coney originally happened uh you know coney the whole coney 2012 thing uh you know everyone was on that bandwagon really quick and then you know two weeks passed and no one gave a shit <laughs> uh the tavon uh Tr trayvon martin uh you know for the first week uh people were all over that shit on Facebook and media sites and social networks they were they, they were everywhere uh, talking about that but you know what happened in two weeks they were back talking about you know fucking Kim Kardashian's baby or whatever the fuck they decided to talk about and that's why when people are saying these days that they 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 care about uh, you know I've seen all these people oh you know, I'm so sorry for all that happened. It, it, you could say that, but everybody knows that in a week, you're not going to care. In a week, you're, the last thing that's going to be on your mind is about those, those, you know, those 20 kids that lost their lives. You know, when you say that you care about something, you better fucking care and not just try to hop on a bandwagon so that way you can get a couple likes on Facebook or get a couple views on a video you know uh, you know when all this happened people were uploading videos all over YouTube about it and you know a week went by and next thing you know they're playing a game where they're freaking shooting up hospitals and all that and it's like so 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 you really care you know I'm not saying that you know I, I'm just gonna be you know, freaking out because these kids are always going to be on my mind. You know, I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is that I am truly sorry because I couldn't imagine this happening to my sister, to my brother, to, to you know, my, my, my nephew, my niece. I, I couldn't imagine this happening, you know. And so when people say that they care and then a week goes by and they don't, they, 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 they never remember uh, what had happened, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it, it's really showing how messed up our youth is these days, because they, they'd, they'd rather take advantage of something just so that way they can get, you know, a couple likes on Facebook than actually care and try to make a difference about the issue, you know, I'm not saying that I am gonna go and donate hundreds of dollars to, to, you know, this, this, you know, if, if there's even uh, something that I could donate to. But, I mean, as I said, that doesn't mean I can't. I know I'm con somewhat contradicting myself. But, you know, in, in a week or two, I'm not going to be completely forgetting about these kids. You know, th these kids, you know, anytime I see a kid at an elementary school or something, I'm, I'm going to think about the those kids, you know, th that they didn't deserve to have what happened to them and that you know it, it, it's sad that it happened um you know 
and this isn't just about the Shady Hook Elementary School uh, or Sandy Hook. I, man, this is bad. I don't even remember the name. Uh, the the elementary school down in Newtown, Connecticut. Um, you know, but but it's it's rather just everything. You know, it, when something happens, people all of a sudden jump onto the bandwagon just so that way they could feel happy when they get a like or two about something or when somebody goes oh I feel I feel your pain I I, I know exactly how you feel you know it, it, it's what it's what they do and it, it's annoying but you know I mean it it's just something that our generation has come to do quite often for no apparent reason you know they, they find it necessary to do that when you know it's not you, you don't make profit off of someone else's sorrow you know you, you just don't do that you know um prime example the uh the, the issue that happened down in uh not the issue but the incident that happened i believe it was in new york where the uh um the old man got into a bicker with uh, an older or with a younger black man. The black man got mad and punched him or pushed him into uh, the train in front of a train. And the dude walked away. And instead of going and helping him, uh, some guy from New York Times decided that he was rather going to go take a picture and uh, set up his camera, take the picture of the guy trying to climb out and die, you know, rather than go help him just because he knew that it'd give him a, a one-up in his company because he did that. Y you know, I mean, I, it's just, it happens everywhere. There, there's, there's, you know, kids in foreign countries that are getting you know attacked by animals but people would rather take a picture than actually help the the group of kids out um you know the, the people would rather go out and uh just like the coney situation they'd rather go out and take a good half of the money uh actually more than that 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 you were actually donating to the group and bring it and give it bring like keep it for themselves rather than actually donate it to the group that needs it you know those teachers on, or those uh commercials on tv where they're talking about oh help this teacher you know in africa feed her children for a week by donating one dollar and if you donate more we'll send you a special picture with a a, a shirt that says i help african children you know it how much of that dollar actually goes to that group? That's like five cents. About like five cents. You know, I, I, that may not be the exact number, but I know that an incredibly low amount actually goes to the group. And, you know, I mean, it, it's it's sad. It, it's truly sad that they have, you know, you, you have people that do this just to get a kick out of it you know just to just to gain a couple bucks and uh, yeah well I'm at it I'll give five cents to some starving kid in Africa but I'll keep the rest of the money just so that way I have it in my pocket and you know be a rich little bastard uh, and not share any of it you know that, that that's why if I ever see a homeless guy on the side of the street with a sign that's saying help you know I don't care if he's gonna go buy beer I don't care if he's going to go buy a shirt, if he's going to go buy food. I'm going to give him something, you know, and, and that's just the fact of the matter. You know, you, you have to do that. And, and, and you know, I see people that are walking around with hundreds of dollars, with hundred dollar bills in their wallet, but they won't spare, you know, five dollars, hell, even a dollar for to a homeless guy that hasn't eaten in probably four or five days you know one reason why I will always continue to give homeless people money was while we were down in Santa Ana there was a homeless guy on the side of the street and he was looking for or he was asking for some money and um, 
we I stopped by and I had five dollars and my sister had five dollars so we gave him ten dollars and um, you know we, we didn't know what he was gonna do with it but we gave it to him so we drive away go do what we were gonna do and on our way back we see him sitting in the McDonald's uh, you know food uh, you know their outside tables and he has uh, a burger, large fries, and a large drink, and he's just sitting there with the biggest smile I think I've ever seen on someone's face. And, and <coughs> just just seeing that, you know, it, it gives you reason to do it. It gives you reason to do it more, and that's that's why I'll I'll always do that, you know. And and, and I know I've kind of wandered off from the initial conversation, but you know, if was there a person that could have helped these kids that decided not to because they could make a income? Yeah, the government. You know, if they didn't put so many regulations on, you know, this and that and this and that, then maybe our schools would actually be protected a bit more. Maybe our schools could be like the ones down in Texas right now that actually can hold guns. You know, I mean, it's just shit happens I guess but it's just it's really unfortunate when it's to children especially of that age so uh, this guy ends up quitting right here that's pretty much all I wanted to get through um, so hope you guys enjoyed uh, talk to you guys later